what is a hatchery? A hatchery is a place where we receive the eggs, incubate them, hatch them, and rear the fries until one gram. A fry is a fish stage from a hatched egg to the size of a fingerling. A fingerling is any fish the size of your fingers. The key areas in a hatchery are brood stock management, egg harvesting, egg incubation, and rearing of fish until one gram. Let us talk about brood stock management. So, what is a brood stock? The brood stock is uh, the selected parent fish. A farmer can decide to keep many species according to the consumer preference. In this case, we shall focus with the Nile tilapia. Let us discuss the factors that we consider while selecting a brood stock. We have three factors. One, the age. Two, shape. Three, and the health condition of a fish. In terms of age, we consider a young brooder. This is because the younger the brood stock, the more the frequency of laying eggs. On average, a Nile tilapia can lay 200 to 300 eggs every 10 to 15 days. Shape is also a factor to consider in a brood stock because the longer the fish, the less the flesh. Therefore, a fish that is oval is recommended because it has more fresh for quality fingerings. Health is also a factor to consider in broodstock selection. We require healthy parent fish to produce healthy offsprings. We also consider fish that have good body conformity to avoid fish that has deformities for quality production. Let's learn about the breeding process. The breeding process begins where the male fish marks the territory in either a breeding tank or a breeding pod. Within the territory, we have breeding grouse or nests. The males change their colors to red or pink when they are ready to breed. They attract the female fish which comes in the nest and lays the eggs. After laying the eggs, the female fish fertilizes the eggs externally. After fertilization, the female fish collects the eggs, incubates them in the mouth in a span of 10 to 15 days before collecting. The eggs can also stay in the female fish for a duration of 21 days until they are weaned. Remember students, we've stated that after fertilization, eggs remain in the mouth of the female fish for a duration of 10 to 15 days when they are ready for collection. So how are they collected? The eggs are collected manually where now the laborers come in and collect the eggs manually from the mouth of the female fish. The process of collecting eggs begins by cornering all the fish in one end. You hold the fish one by one and check if they have eggs in their mouths. If you find eggs, you list them out in a bowl. Once you've collected the eggs, you can be able to grade the egg in four stages. Stage one, we have the oval egg. This one does not contain any visible features. Stage number two is where you can clearly see the eye spots. Stage number three is where the head and the tail are visible. Stage number four is where the fish are now able to swim. So students, I know you are wondering what happens in the mouth of the fish within the 10 to 14 days before collecting of eggs all within the 21 days duration before the eggs are weaned. The mouth of a female fish is where the incubation of eggs begins. All the eggs in one female mouth are of the same size and stage. Let's compare the body size of a female fish and a male fish. The male fish have big bodies compared to the female fish. We shall note that the female fish 
generally has a small body. This is because most of the time, a nail therapy is in the process of incubating eggs. Therefore, feeding less as the incubation part begins in the mouth. The male fish does not incubate the eggs. Therefore, they feed more. That's the big size. So students, we continue with the process of uh, incubation where we begin by acclimatization. Acclimatization is whereby we check the temperatures of the water in the incubation system and the temperature of the eggs in the water, which must be equal or has a difference of two degrees. We check the water temperatures using a thermometer. After acclimatization, we now do decantation. Decantation is where we rinse the eggs and weigh them using a weighing scale. After weighing the eggs, we sort them according to the different stages. You remember the different stages were the egg, all the oval size, the eye spot size, the head and the tail, and the swimming stage. You sort them and put them in different incubation tanks depending on the stages. After five days in the incubation jars, the eggs hatch into fries. They are carried by the water current to the hatching troughs where they remain there for two days while they feed on their yolks. After hatching, you leave them again for two days to feed on the egg yolk and become a ready fly. After hatching, the fries are usually one gram. So. We take them to the nursery section where we take care of them until 50 grams. In the nursery section, we have different management practices that we carry out to ensure that all the flies survive. They include feeding, temperature regulation, oxygen regulation. The flies are usually fed after one hour, day in, day out. Meaning they are fed 24 times in a day. The optimum temperature recommended for rearing fish is an average of 27 degrees. In case the temperatures are too high or too low, the fish are affected. If the temperatures are too low, we experience death of the fish, poor breeding, poor feeding, and stunted growth. If the temperatures are too high, the fry's spinal cord usually bends. The temperatures in the nursery are usually regulated to ensure that they attain the optimum temperature in the water for the survival of the flies. The flies also require oxygen for breathing, which at the nursery is usually regulated. If the oxygen is not sufficient, we might lose all the flies. Therefore, to ensure sustainability, oxygen must be present at all times in a nursery. We usually have artificial oxygen containers to sustain the oxygen levels to ensure that all the flies survive. In the nursery, the flies stay there for a duration of 10 days until they attain the correct weight of 50 grams and they're usually the size of their fingers. That is why they are called fingerings. <laughs>